Okay, so we're going to cover Eternal Celestia. This is a great one-shot story, but just like Thanos Rising, it's really used as a way to kind of give us more information about the Eternals. Because if you're new to Marvel Comics, they've been around for a very long time. And yes, there are many stories out there that could help new readers learn more about the Eternals. But these books right here do a great job of kind of taking older content and cutting it down in a smaller version to make it easier for new readers to get into the Eternals. But at the same time, it's also adding in more information about the Eternals that fit in perfectly with everything else we already knew about them. But when it comes to Eternal Celestia, this story is really more about the idea of the bond between the Celestials and also the Eternals. Because remember, the Celestials were the one who made the Eternals and then told them, hey, here's your goal, protect the Earth, but also protect the human race. And then they left and that was it. But then you had some Eternals that had a closer bond to the Celestials more than other Eternals did. And so getting into today's storyline, we pick up in Celestia, the city of the star gods. Now, when it comes to Celestia, this is where you had Celestials go when they came down to Earth. Matter of fact, we see a throne right now and we pick out a character known as Ajax who is sitting on the throne. Now, the throne is not made for her. The throne is made for a Celestial. And guys, Celestials are huge. So right now, Ajax is sitting on a throne and she's building a speck on the throne. Either way, when it comes to Ajax, she belongs to a group of Eternals that have one particular ability, which is that they are able to communicate with the Celestials. And that was a huge achievement. The problem is though, this is the present day. The Celestials have not been down to Earth in a very long time to talk to the Eternals. And so right now, she's beginning to lose her trust and her belief into the Celestials. Because when she was able to communicate with them, she was doing their work. Because let's not forget, the Celestials made the Eternals to protect the Earth, but to also protect the human race. But with her no longer being able to talk to one or even see one, she believes that right now, the gods, her gods, have forgotten about her. And she's wondering what to do next. But then you have Ajax be confronted by another Eternal known as Makari. Now, when it comes to Makari, she's just like Ajax. She had the ability to communicate with Celestials. The problem was, though, Ajax was the first to lose that ability. Makari was later on down the road. And that led to a problem between the two ladies because Ajax, well, she was jealous that Makari still had the ability to communicate with the Celestials. But now, Makari cannot either. And so it seems like the two ladies are going to begin the process of trying to fix their relationship. Either way, when it comes to Makari and also Ajax, they're wondering what to do. Because right now, they're both trying to find different ways to hopefully regain the ability to communicate with Celestials to figure out what is next for the Eternals to do. We already know, when it came to Celestials, they left the Earth and said, bye, peace, see y'all later, never again, and that was it. But for Ajax and Makari, they're still holding on to hope the Celestial will come back and tell them what is next for the Eternals. Now, this is where you have Ajax say, you know what? Let's go over to the new base that belongs to the Avengers. Because right now at this point in Marvel Comics, the Avengers are living inside a Celestial, the first host. And now they're saying, let's go there and let's see we're able to figure out if there's any clues left for us to use as a way to figure out what is next for us, the Eternals, but also for Celestials as well. So we have to jump back one million years ago. Now, when we do, we get confirmation that, yeah, 
Ajax was one of the few Eternals that had the ability to communicate with a Celestial. And so right now, you have her talking to one and just getting some work from the Celestial. Now, while she is talking to this one particular Celestial, well, then she is confronted by the Avengers. Because in recent years, Marvel said, hey, there was a group of characters that came together and made the first group of Avengers. Avengers 1 million BCE. Yeah, you heard that right. But right now, they're very upset with what they're seeing, which is Ajax right now talking to a Celestial. But back in the present day, we see Ajax and also Makari walking over to the base of the Avengers. Now, while they're walking there, you then have Ajax say, I feel like this is a test. And what she means by that, see, when it comes to the group of Eternals that have the ability to communicate with Celestials, they all have their own ways. When it comes to Ajax, though, she uses the old ways. When it comes to Makari, she uses the new ways. And so what Ajax is saying right now is that maybe when it comes to the Eternals, they want us to find a different way to be able to communicate with them. And so she believes their current situation is really more of a test. But getting back over to the battle between Ajax versus the Avengers of 1 million BCE, this is where we kind of find out that she was actually assigned by the Celestials to figure out what to do with the Avengers. Because right now the Celestials are saying, hey, should we kill them off or leave them alone? And so with that being said, she was assigned to go figure that out. And so she found the Avengers, except when she did, unfortunately it led to a battle because when she tried to introduce herself, they were not trying to hear her at all. They're like, nope. You gotta go. Let's go ahead and kill her off. And so it led to a battle. Now at first, when it came to the battle, it was okay for her because she was fighting against Iron Fist, Black Panther, but then she was fighting against other characters like Odin or the Phoenix or Starbrand, more powerful characters. Now unfortunately, at the end of the battle, she died. Now, here's the thing, because when it comes to Eternals, even if they do die, they come right back to life again thanks to the Great Machine. But this section right here does give us more information that we need to know about. And that is, when it comes to Eternals, you would believe that they should remember everything about their entire life. But unfortunately, that is not true. Apparently, sometimes the Great Machine will take away things from their memories. And so when it comes to Ajax, she does not remember this fight against the Avengers from 1 million BCE. But here's the thing, the memories you lost, they are stored in a computer, like a file or like a book that you are able to go read and study that moment of yourself. And so even though she does not remember that moment, she has studied that moment. And so it tells her what happened to her at the end of her battle against the Avengers of BCE. Now, once she was brought back to life, it led to her kind of discussing what she thinks about the Avengers to the Celestials. And she said that when it comes to the Avengers of 1 million BCE, she feels like they should be left alone. That even though they do go on some crazy missions, at least they're still trying to protect the Earth, trying to protect the human race. And so with her fighting against them, she realized they are good people and they deserve to live. And she tells Celestials, stand down. Do not go after them at all. And when it came to the Celestial, they said, okay, fine. If you believe that, we will leave them alone for now and backed off. But back in the present day, when you have our two characters arrive at the base of the Avengers, well, this is where Ajax gets very angry. And the reason why, because she just found out that the Avengers had taken the body of the first host of Celestials and turned it into a secret base. They are living inside the body of a Celestial. And so right now, for Ajax, that is not okay, because she looks at Celestials as her gods her makers, her creators. And so she is very upset about the idea of what the Avengers have done. Now, 
you have Ghost Rider walk out and say, hey, listen, um, I have no idea who you are, but it seems like you're very upset about the idea of what we did to the body of the first host. And so you have Ghost Rider say, actually, let me tell you, the first host talked to me and it told me that this was okay for us to do. Now, Ajax cannot believe that the first host would talk to Ghost Rider, but not talk to her. And so she does use her powers to read his mind. And when she does read his mind, when she does read his mind, y'all, yo, Ajax gets angry. She's all like, let me get this straight. I have gone for a very long time, unable to talk to my gods, but they talk to you? How in the world is that fair? And she is angry. Now you do have Makari being able to calm down Ajax. Now, once she's able to calm down Ajax, you didn't have Makari and Ajax go back to Celestia, the city of the star gods. Now, when they do arrive there, well, you didn't have Ajax say, I made a huge mistake. And that mistake was letting the Avengers live 1 million BCE. And she's right. She did tell the Celestials to leave the Avengers alone because she felt like they were great people. But now she's saying that was a mistake because what she is saying is that when it comes to Celestials, even if they are able to talk to you, even if they tell you something, there's actually another hidden message behind the words they have spoken. And so right now she's saying even though the Celestial told Ghost Rider it was okay for the Avengers to live inside its body. In reality, there is another message. Either way, she's saying, I feel like it's the Celestials trying to tell me I have made a mistake by telling them to let the Avengers live. And so now she's saying the Avengers must go. The present day Avengers like Steve Rogers and Tony Stark and T'Challa, those Avengers. And so it seems like a war is coming very soon between the Eternals and the Avengers. But this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.